Maths Week 13, Sequences and Nth Term. First, check you have found and read these downloadable lesson notes shown here and found in Week 13. Now, this is the fourth video for this week, and we've already done videos for sequences and one for Nth Term. So if you haven't seen those, I would watch those first. In this last video, we're going to focus on the last worked example, just as extra practice. In this example, we're told that what is the 25th term of the sequence below? And we're told the sequence is 5, 8, 11 and 14. And we're going to use the method shown here. Let's have a look at how we do it. Here is the sequence again, 5, 8, 11 and 14. And once again, we have got the first, second, third and fourth term but we're asked for the 25th term. And once again, because that's so far along in the sequence, it's too far to find um, the pattern and just continue it. We need to find that formula that we can use to find any term in the sequence. So the first step to doing that is it's a good idea to write this out as a sequence and then work with it. Then we need to find the pattern that links the numbers, the difference between the numbers. So from 5 to 8, we're adding 3. 8 to, to 11, we're adding 3. And 11 to 14, we add 3. So because my difference is add 3, I'm going to call my pattern so far 3n. So now remember, n refers to the term in the sequence, and we're going to start with the first one. So 3n, we're looking at 3 times 1. Now 3 times 1 is 3, and our first number is 5. So to make it 5, we have to add 2. So let's put add 2 onto our sequence. 3 times 1, the first term, is 3, add 2 is 5. So that works for our, this formula works for our first term. Let's try it for the second term. So this time we substitute n for 2, meaning the second term. 3 times second term, so 2, equals 6, and then add 2, equals 8. And our second term is 8. So this pattern works. Let's check it for the third. 3n, or 3 times 3, third term, is 9. Add 2 equals 11. And that is our third term. That's the value of our third term. So this formula that I, I've devised here for finding any term in the sequence is working. So this time we're going to substitute n for 25 to find the 25th term. 3n, 3 times 25, equals 75, add 2, equals 77. So our 25th term is 77. To find that, I needed to first of all Find the difference between the numbers in my sequence, which gave me 3n because it was plus 3 every time. Then I tried 3n with the first number in my sequence, so 3 times 1, n standing for the, the term in the sequence. And to get to the first term, the value, I had to add 2. So that gave me the formula 3n plus 2, which once I substitute n for the number in the sequence, gives me the value for any number in that sequence. 